week's parasha is Parashat Truma that we read about the tabernacle, which then in Jerusalem becomes the temple. And this suggests to us one of the most basic and fundamental meditations in Kabbalah and Hasidut, which is to picture around oneself six extremities, actually six walls, or four, four walls with a ceiling and a, and a floor, which correspond to the six continual commandments of the Torah, which are the duties of our hearts, to have in our minds and our hearts all the time, continuously, six thoughts and, and beliefs and experiences. And they are, first of all, the first two of the Ten Commandments that we heard directly from God, which is the first one to believe in God's existence and His divine providence over everything that happens to us in our lives. And the second is to deny any foreign power that has any power to govern our lives and our destinies. Those are the first two mitzvot, and in our divine space, this is called living in divine space, or creating around oneself a divine space, which is a, a sanctuary for God. The faith in God and His providence is above us, and the denial of any foreign power to govern us is the bottom below us. Then we have the front, the right, and the left, and the back. The front is the mitzvah, Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, Hero Israel, God is our God, God is one. God's absolute unity is there is no other besides Him, and He is one, and ultimately He is all. And that's something that we have to have in, in our front, in front of our consciousness continuously. The right in Kabbalah is love. The left is awe. These are two important, all-inclusive mitzvot of the Torah. Love motivates all of the positive commandments in the Torah. Fear and awe motivates all of the prohibitive, which are the negative things, the things that we should not do, are forbidden to do. And finally, the mitzvah, the state of consciousness, which is behind us, is to guard our minds from foreign thoughts of, of uh, heresy or of lust to enter from the subconscious. The subconscious in Kabbalah is the back because we don't see it. So to prevent and to guard our minds and our hearts from foreign negative thoughts entering from our subconscious into our consciousness, that is the shield that guards us from the back. So once more, the most basic thing is simply to sit and to close my eyes, to, to meditate, that I have around myself six continual states of consciousness, each of which is a mitzvah in the Torah. These are the all-inclusive mitzvot. And in this way, I create a sanctuary around myself. Faith, denial of foreign gods, love, fear, the presence of one and only one God in front of me, and that God is a God of mercy, of compassion. Hashem Havaya is compassion. Hashem Havaya Elokeinu Havaya Chad. Hashem, compassion is one and the only attribute that is present in my life. And in back of me, I have the shield that guards my consciousness from foreign bad matter entering from my subconscious. So with this, we construct a tabernacle around ourselves and we bring Hashem into our hearts and into our lives and our whole day and our whole life is full of the joy of being together with HaKadosh Baruch Hu.